touching the lives of local people every day. Hello and welcome to Business Extra. Joining us today at the Norfolk Showgrounds, where we're at a big event dedicated to East Anglia One. That's the huge new wind farm that's in development off the East Coast. It means lots of jobs, lots of money and lots of opportunities for our part of the world. Plenty more on that coming up, but first, let's get the business headlines from the week. Thanks, Neil. Staying with the renewable energy sector first, a great Yarmouth company secured a contract to build 56 turbine towers for the £1.5 billion Galloper offshore wind farm. Three Sun Group says the new project will create 40 new jobs for the area. The engineers and technicians will be involved in building the towers at the town's port, where a multi-million pound assembly and installation base for wind farms has been created. Norwich-based insurance giant Aviva says it's going to take a £385 million hit after the government announced a change in the way personal injury claims are worked out. The company has seen its shares plummet after changes were put forward to the discount rate calculation. It's expected to increase the payments given to victims of medical negligence, car crashes and other incidents. The Association of British Insurers has described it as crazy and warned it could see millions of car insurance policies rise. And finally, train operator Greater Anglia has revealed its newly refurbished carriages. The Class 170 rolling stock have been renovated as part of a £5 million upgrade project, including new seat covers, carpets, heating and ventilation, as well as upgraded toilets. And more plug points. The project's expected to be completed by early next year. Thank you very much indeed. Right, let's find out a little bit more about what's going on here today and frankly why it is so important for this part of the country. I'm joined this evening by Simon Gray, the Chief Executive of the East of England Energy Group and Jonathan Cole, Managing Director of Scottish Power Renewables. Hello to both of you. Thanks for joining us. Daniel. Now, well, let's, let's look about what's going on here today. If I can start with, with you. Why is this such an important event today? Well, this is the biggest single energy event that's ever been held in the east of England. Uh, we heard yesterday about oil and gas opportunities, what's happening at Sizewell, and other offshore wind developments that are going on right the way across our region. And today is a day especially for Scottish Power Renewables and their East Anglia One wind farm project. This is the biggest single wind farm development in our region currently, and will be the biggest wind farm in the world when it's constructed. I think that gives you an idea of the scale of it. And, and Jonathan, why is it so important for for the area, because I'm sure there's plenty of people in Norfolk, Suffolk, around here who have who heard of it, know a little bit about it, but frankly don't realise the scale of it. I mean, locally, it presents a great opportunity for jobs and, and for local businesses to get involved. We're investing about two and a half billion pounds in this project. Simon said it's going to be the, the largest offshore wind farm in the world when it's built. It's going to produce enough electricity for half a million homes in the UK. Um, and you know we're expecting to be creating about three to four thousand jobs during the construction process, and then several hundred uh, for about 25, 30 years of the operation of the project. So it's a massive opportunity for local people to get involved in this industry and, and, and reap the benefits. And we've got plenty of people here today from from companies all, all around our, our region here. How important is it for them to really grasp the opportunity that's here for them? Yeah, I mean, there's opportunities right the way across the supply chain. So whether it's companies working directly in things like uh, operations and maintenance, um, Scottish Power and will, will be using several hundred people for operations and maintenance, maintaining these things, particularly in the sort of summer months uh, when, when it's you know, less wind and the, the, the tides and the seas are a bit calmer, so they can get out to these turbines to service them. But right the way across the supply chain, whether it's office equipment, whether it's catering, uh, hotel accommodation, all of these kind of areas will benefit from this. So it's the knock-on effect, not just the number of jobs that come directly from Scottish Power Renewables, but from their demands overall of the local supply chain. So this is going to impact not just upon lower stuff in Yarmouth, but on a much, much bigger footprint than A that. real sort of ripple effect. Right? Yeah, absolutely. And we have also, as this is Sizewell, if Sizewell goes ahead, that's another sizable investment in our region. And we also have a renewed interest in the Southern North Sea gas basin as well. And we're looking at, at gas generation for the next 20, 30 years. So there's more jobs to become in that area as well. We've seen a downturn in the gas economy, and now we're starting to see a resurgence of that. So that, coupled with what's got Power and Newell's are doing, and what coupled with what Sizewell will be doing, could mean a real boom for our region. And finally, Jonathan, just let's look how the project is going at the moment. What stage are we at? 
So we've just placed all the major contracts with our tier one suppliers. And if you look around you just now, you've got some world-class supply chain companies represented here today. And the reason why we're having this event today is we're giving those guys the opportunity now to talk to the local suppliers to say, right, these are the contracts now we want to place locally as we deliver this project. So we're just about to start onshore construction. So we'll start building the grid connection onshore. Um, and next year we'll start offshore construction. So for local businesses, for local people, now is the time to try and get involved and um, you know take advantage of this enormous opportunity. Jonathan Simon, thank you very much thank indeed. You. And uh, we've been out and about the conference today just trying to find out a bit more about why this is such a huge opportunity and a big deal, frankly, for the people of Norfolk and Suffolk. Well, East Anglia One, the offshore wind farm, is a very important project for the East Anglia region. It's creating the infrastructure, so we need a lot of support, skill to support this project, but it's also the first of a pipeline of projects that will see major investment across East Anglia Zone for the next 10, 15 years. And it also introduces uh, the longer term operation and maintenance, where we're creating jobs for the next 30 years, all within the East Anglia region. There is so much opportunity at the moment locally. And we've been awarded a contract on, on the Galloper offshore wind farm to do the pre-construction, pre-assembly um, on the turbines out of Peel Ports. So, which is really exciting for us because obviously with us being a local Great Yarmouth based company, it's, um, you know, it's very visible to, to, to all the locals and we were able to create job opportunities as a result of that. What we're seeing now over the last year or so is that these, these wind farms, these major wind farms that are happening off our coast, they've moved from being an aspiration and a vision into a reality. They are happening, the developers are making real progress in their planning and construction, and what that means is that there are significant job opportunities for businesses in the, in the East Anglian area, not just in Lowestoft and Yarmouth, but spreading quite across the two counties. So it's not just the direct jobs, the highly skilled jobs, it's also down to, as you say, the hotels, the taxis, the shops, the hairdressers, the, the, the overall, uh, you know, services sector that's in the area so everyone benefits in the end from this. We've been hearing a lot today about the number of jobs and opportunities that are going to be coming up from East Anglia One. But how important is it that the young people, the next generation, take advantage of the jobs and opportunities and careers right on their doorstep? The traditional I'm going to be a fireman or a policeman and the very simple career opportunities, you know, Yellow Stuff used to be a fishing town that's changed as well. So to say you're an engineer, now there are so many sections, so many subsections, and an opportunity to come here and talk and realise, oh, that's quite interesting, I didn't realise that job exists, is very, very beneficial as well. You can get young people to, to understand what the oil and gas industry is, what the renewables industry is, and what it looks like, and the opportunities that are available. We'll certainly see more local people employed in those roles in the future. With the employers, there is undoubtedly a skills gap. It's almost a cliche. There's a lot of potential for jobs in the energy sector and to the outside world, surprisingly, in the manufacturing centre in Norfolk and Suffolk. And one of our roles is to expose students to that variety. So very early on in the degree we give them at least three site visit opportunities in the first term to companies they would never have dreamt existed. This project frankly is huge and brings a real wave of jobs and opportunities to the whole region but how important is it that businesses in our area really grasp this opportunity? Perhaps in the past you might have said that um, the, say the Aberdeen area took the most advantage of the oil and gas, um, the oil and gas opportunities over the last over the last 40, 50 years. We've got to make sure that we make the most of those opportunities in our region. What we have is the great advantage, if you look at those wind farm developments, we are the closest to them. If we don't grasp the opportunity then we may lose it. If we grasp the opportunity with the oil and gas sector. 50 years ago and we you see we saw the benefits from that and we continue to see the benefits from that and that will pick up again so really it's got to be it's one of those things got to be in it to win it and I really do believe that Great Yarmouth has got the greatest opportunity to do that. That's all for us here at the Norfolk Showground as ever you can get involved on Twitter we are at Mustard TV the hashtag is Business Extra and you can catch up on all our business programmes on our New Look YouTube channel Norfolk Now. Have a very good night.
touching the lives of local people every day.